five number of Florida Derbies won by trainer Todd Pletcher and Hall of Famer Johnny Velasquez this comes as a surprise to absolutely nobody. Can Pletcher have the amounts and the horses to get the job done? Of course. Can Johnny do most of the riding in these spots? Obviously. But this is a meet where their talents blend in with the task. Pletcher gets very expensive equine athletes that fits Gulfstream's speedy track profile, a perfect match. And, for how long now, a decade? More? Johnny V. Is a position conscious race rider who finds the sweet spot most every time he's on the right horse, and even when he's not, filling the vacancy left years ago when Jerry Bailey retired. 15 number of consecutive training titles won by Pletcher. Again, numbers and quality of numbers. Then, guess what? The horses have to perform with most having targets on their back. Gulf Stream Park is not Saratoga. What is? But it's a meet that everyone points for. Yes, Pletcher comes for a reason and not for the season, like Chad Brown apparently did this year. Most of his runners never left Palm Meadows state-of-the-art stalls. 134 number of races won by defending jockey champion Luis Saez, an all-time record since the Gulf Stream schedule began with the first Saturday in December and ends on the last weekend of March slash first weekend of April. Saez did it by riding for everyone not simply by being locked into one or two dominant barns. From the classiest stakes horses to bottom level claimers, his strategy, race riding and strength resulted in more late driving finishes than anyone. And a nice young man, too. As stated previously, this number may not be DiMaggio or Woody like, but it's hard to conceive it being topped. It took 39 multi-win days, including rolling two sevens and one six-pack. Phenomenal. 6. Number of consecutive owner titles won by Ken and Sarah Ramsey. Not sure anyone enjoys winning, and betting on winners, more than the outspoken Ramsey. 49 and 9 tenths, number and millions of dollars wagered on Florida Derby Day. Yes, there were 14 races, equivalent to one half old school race cards. That's an increase of 63% year over year. They print money here. Most tracks these days schedule 10 or more races each Saturday, although Gulfstream seems to do it any day they can fill a card with good-sized fields. This way, the smaller outfits get to earn, too. 21 and one-third, number of dollars bet in Rainbow Six Pool Florida Derby Day. Better spend $16 million chasing $5 million worth of free money. Both live betting and total pick six pool were both North American records. 21. Number of post-drag minutes by our count to handle the Rainbow Six action between races 8 and 9. BTW, never heard a single complaint. When meet figures are released, expected Wednesday, we expect that the handle increase year over year will be approximately 10%, which will be yet another record. So. Despite the non-championship fair on many midweek programs, despite the harangue over the post-drag, and despite questionable running times that still occur all too regularly on turf, Gulfstream continues to defy all logic and national trends. Knock, knock, who's there? Nobody, only us players.